Hello children today we are going to start the poem the squirrel which is in your chapter 1 the squirrel poem written by mildred bowers armstrong mildred bowers armstrong earned her bachelor degree from northwestern university in 1923 she also studied at mount holio college the university of chicago and the university of wisconsin bowers titled her first volume of poetry twist or smoke after the pseudonym she used in college twist or smoke won the 1928 yale younger poets prize and was published by the yale university press bowers also published verse in periodic periodicals under her married name mildred armstrong the poetess has written a beautiful poem on the topic the squirrel as you all know and you must have seen everywhere in near your house there are so many squirrels are jumping and running this is a beautiful poem on the topic the squirrel the squirrel is a very common uh, animal that you can find everywhere and this is a very simple topic which the poet has taken and beautifully narrated by her now let's re- recite the poem he wore a question mark for tail and overcoat of gray he sat up straight to eat a nut he liked to tease and play and if he ran around his tree he went the other way before the explanation i would like to discuss about the squirrel which kind of animal it is so let's see what is the squirrel it is a beautiful pick of a squirrel now let's discuss the physical characteristics of squirrel squirrels have brownish and whitish fur and it sometimes partially broken into spots squirrels have rows of white stripes squirrels have dark stripes squirrels have white and brown stripes there is various type of stripe you can see on the body of the squirrel now its habitat let's talk about its habitat squirrels live in short grass prairies road sides in yards cemeteries golf courses usually you have seen so many squirrels which are running in your yard they are living in a grass prairies road sides yards cemeteries and golf courses they are habitat over there now the range we have seen in our uh, house area there are so many color gray color uh, brown color squirrels but its range is black colors also a squirrel lives in north america maximum you can find the squirrels in north america in india also we can find but the species of different type of uh, squirrels you can find in north america now which kind of food they are eating they used to eat squirrels eat grass weeds seeds caterpillars and grasshopper i would like to add the nuts also the squirrels love to eat 
nuts offspring baby squirrels are born in may after the 28th date squirrels are not born from eggs enemies who are the enemy of a squirrel squirrel enemies are people people because they are living near the people always and they are very friendly but most of the time they scared from people or humans now the in- interesting facts about squirrel is a squirrel is especially active on warm days not in cold days it means it has been active in summer not in winter a squirrel eats lots of nuts these are the interesting fact of squirrels you have seen in the description of squirrel a squirrel is a beautiful animal which has a tail like colorful question mark it is known for its funny acts it's a very um, you can say very naughty all the time it's jumping here and there you must have seen near your house it's always running and collecting something or eating something um, while eating its posture is different while running its posture is different and it's a very uh you very curious about everything which are lying here and there so let's start the poem the uh, explanation of the poem he wore a question mark for a tail an overcoat of gray he sat up straight to eat a nut he liked to tease and play and if he can round his tree he went the other way the presented poetry piece has the squirrel has been composed by the mildred bowers armstrong the poet has drawn the living picture of a squirrel in following ways first few lines are the description of squirrel mildred bowers armstrong has given very interesting description the squirrel is wearing a gray overcoat with three white stripes on his body he has a beautiful tail which looks like a colorful question mark it loves to eat nuts so here the description of her of its appearance he wore a question mark for a tail he can see we can see that a shape of a squirrel's tail is like a question mark usually when she eats something its tail is always up and the shape of the tail is always a question mark an overcoat of gray if we look into a squirrel's back we can see stripes on it and it seems like it's a wearing a coat which is in gray color as you all know the overcoat we are wearing in winters from protecting for uh, winter so the overcoat here the poet described the overcoat of uh, squirrel is gray and it is wearing a coat which is in gray color and three uh, you can see the stripes on it there are stripes with the white color you can see on the overcoat he sat up straight to eat a nut if you see the squirrel always sits straight when it is eating and is love to eat nut she used to eat nuts and she always loves to eat nuts now he, he has a beautiful tail which look like a colorful question mark it loves to eat nuts always whenever it's eating something 
it sit it sits always straight he like to tease and play now the uh, next few lines describe what is the behavior of his of his uh, animal he like to tease and play now he always like to tease always like to play very playful animal the squirrel is very friendly animal it sometimes teases us if we try to go near it acts like it is playing with us but in um the poet says that the squirrel like teasing and playing if someone runs around the tree to catch him he will change the direction immediately so he like to tease and play if he ran a- around his tree he went to the other way if we run to catch a squirrel it is very difficult it runs very fast and keeps on teasing us now in the poem the squirrel the poet mildred bowser armstrong describe a squirrel that he observe in his garden the poet describes how the squirrel covered in gray fur sits in an upright position on a tree branch eating a nut his tail looks like a question mark because of its bent shape the happy and lively squirrel loves to play with the poet and her friends whenever they ran around his tree he would run to other side of the tree the poet tells us about the nature of the squirrel that it is a innocently naughty and likes to tease anyone who comes near him now let's discuss the key point of the of this poem the squirrel is sitting on the ground the poet it appears in a different way poet feels that its tail is like a question mark and body is covered with gray coat it is very naughty and likes to tease now let's see some word meanings question mark for tail the tail which looks like question mark over coat of gray the squirrel appears wearing a gray coat tease to make fun of the students were teasing the fellow students so tease means to make fun of write in in your copy these are the word meanings of this poem after the explanation of the poem let's move with the exercises working with the poem the first question is why does the poet say the squirrel wore a question mark for tail draw a squirrel or find a picture of a squirrel sitting on the ground how could you describe its tail now we have to create a answer because the answer is not given in your poetry you have to make the answer now i am going to explain the answer first you have to write why the poet says that wore a question mark for tail here the poet wants that you have to describe the uh, structure of his of its tail how it's looking like and the second question which is attached with this first question find a picture of a squirrel sitting on the ground as we have seen in the video there is so many pictures of squirrels so you can see uh, it again and how would you describe its tail so here we have to describe the tail of a squirrel now the poet say that the squirrel wore a question mark for a tail because its tail is twisted appearing like a question mark when it sits the squirrel sits is its 
its tail is always up in the air and it's twist like a question mark it's looking like a question mark because the top part of the tail is twist so that's why it's looking like a question mark now let's move to the second question do we usually say that an animal wears a tail what do we say think does an animal wear a coat consult a dictionary if you like and find out how wear is used in different way now here we have to think about it here because the costume of a squirrel the point want to discuss but it compares with the uh, our costumes because we are wearing uh, coats while winter so we usually say that an animal has a set of given characteristic rather than saying wear the poet however uses the word wear to indicate the external characteristics of the squirrel the dictionary meaning of wear suggests something of an outer covering for instance clothes wears means something something of an outer covering so the animal cannot wear a uh, any type of costume but its body or its fur is looking like a coat now question number 3 he like to tease and play who is teasing whom and how he like to the squirrel likes to tease and play so here the you can see the nature of the uh, squirrel shown by the poet question number 3 he like to tease and play who is teasing whom and how answer we can write the poet like to tease and play with the squirrel whenever the poet went a little close to the squirrel the squirrel would run away in the other direction because it is very naughty and it's move every time it's running and jumping all the time that's why the poet like to tease and play with the squirrel and whenever the poet went went a little close to the squirrel the squirrel would run away in the other direction now some question some very short type of the question we can write also question number 1 what is being compared to a gray overcoat now solution is the squirrel's body is being compared to a gray overcoat second question discuss the posture of the squirrel as discussed in line 3 of the poem here you can see the posture of the A squirrel the squirrel sat up straight to eat a nut else the squirrel usually sits and run with the banded back when it sits it eats nuts and it sits straight now question number 3 what did the squirrel do if someone came too close to his tree answer is the squirrel would run away in the opposite direction if someone came to close to his tree having observed the squirrel around us can we say that a squirrel is a fact fast paced animal having observed the squirrel around us can we say that a squirrel is a fast paced animal yes of course because it's never sits in a particular place it's moving around all the time yes based on our observation of the squirrels around us we can say that a squirrel is a fast paced animal we rarely come across a squirrel sitting still never never i also never seen this except when they are biting into the nuts 
Usually we see the squirrel running from one place to another with great energy. Now the second question, what does the poem say about the poet's choice of subject? The poem is a reflection of the poet's desire to compose poetry on most mundane elements that we come across in our day-to-day -day surrounding. It's a very natural poem and it's about an animal. An animal which is which we can see every time near our house. A squirrel is the most commonly found animal that we see around us. Yet, very few of us would have thought of it as a potent subject, matter for a writer's pen. The poet very simply, simplistically discussed the various aspects of the poem, of the squirrel, which each one of us must have observed closely. Now some extract based question we can uh, do with uh, this poem. Read the extract given below and answer the question. Now here he liked to tease and play And if we ran around his tree, he went the other way. Now the question 1 give a synonym for like in the context of the poem. The synonym of the like is relish. Now the second question. Teasing is the poet's way with the squirrel. Now here teasing is playing. Use the word run in a sentence of your own. It is a joy to see children running in various directions while playing in the garden. Choose a benefiting adjective to describe the nature of a squirrel. So which is suitable adjective we have to choose. The option are playful, scornful, introvert, jealous. Now, we are going to choose playful because it's playing or it's jumping all the time. Identify the he in the first line. He wore a question mark for tail. Now, identify the he in the first line. Options are the poet, the squirrel, the onlooker, the gardener. The solution or answer is the poet. He wore a question mark for tail. Now, question number six. Who went the other way? Options are the poet, the squirrel, the onlooker, the gardener. Now, the solution or answer is the squirrel. Now, let's see a video on the squirrel. So, it is very helpful for you to understand the qualities of a squirrel and the characteristic of a squirrel.
tree squirrels are the members of the squirrel family most commonly referred to as squirrels. They include over a hundred primarily tree-dwelling species, native to all continents except Antarctica and Australia. They do not form a single natural or monophyletic group, but instead are related to the various other animals in the squirrel family, including ground squirrels, flying squirrels, marmots, and chipmunks. The defining characteristic that is used to determine which of the various species of Cyridae are tree squirrels is therefore not so dependent on their physiology, but their habitat. Tree squirrels live mostly among trees, as opposed to other squirrels that live in burrows in the ground, or among rocks. However, there is one exception to this rule, as physiological distinction does make a difference in regard to flying squirrels who also make their home in trees, but have unique physical characteristics that separate them from their tree squirrel cousins. The most well-known genus of tree squirrels is Cyrus, which includes the eastern gray squirrel of North America, the red squirrel of Eurasia, and the North American fox squirrel, among many others. Since many tree squirrel species have readily adapted to human-altered environments, and because they are mostly diurnal, when most people are outdoors to see them, they are perhaps the most familiar members of the rodent family to most humans. In some larger cities, they are often the only wild mammals that most people ever see. completing the exercises, explanation and recitation of the poem, we are going to summarize this poetry in this word. The poet saw a squirrel sitting on a tree and eating nuts. Its tail was raised upwards with the tip pointing downwards. Thus the tail seemed to be making a question mark. It had a grey coat. It was so loose that the poet calls it an overcoat. In order to eat a nut, it was sitting straight. A squirrel is furry little animal that likes to play with human beings. If human beings ran around his tree, the squirrel wouldn't be frightened. It would like to tease and play. To do it would also run round the tree but from the opposite side. So the squirrel is a rodent and it's move all around the tree and eating nuts. And these are the main characteristic of the squirrel. So that's all for today. Write this poem in your copy word meanings and question and answers in the copy. Learn it and before concluding the video we have to revise our word meanings. Question mark for tail, the tail which looks like question mark. Over coat of grey, the squirrel appears wearing a grey coat. Tease to make fun. Let's move to the key points of the poem. The squirrel is sitting on the tree on the ground. The poet is appears in a different way. Poet feels that its tail is like a question mark and body is covered with grey coat. And in this poem we have uh, discussed about the uh, features of the um, squirrel. And the simplicity of the poet. Now, in next video, we will discuss the chapter, A Gift of Chapels, which is in your book, Honeycomb, chapter 2. So, we will start from next video. So, all the question answers you have to complete in the copy. And word meanings also. Draw a picture of squirrel and write the question which are given in your book working with text. So that's all for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.